It's a whole new world between robots and agriculture today. Usage of automation in the farm is one of the biggest things today. Manual farming has already evolved into an era of machines and intelligent devices. This is a masterclass on robotics in agriculture where we would know exactly how robotics is being implemented today in agriculture. So if you look at uh, agriculture and farming in the Indian context, uh, you see that most of it is uh, very labor intensive. Uh, unlike in the West, where you have uh, you know mechanized uh, industrialized machines, which uh, do most of the, uh, the sowing, the reaping, the harvesting, that's not the case uh, in uh, terms of you know uh, where the Indian farmers are concerned, because most of the farmers have like a, a big, the the amount of land that is very small, so you can't have these big uh, industrialized kind of machines you know uh, working on those farms. So you need solutions which are uh, uh, you know uh, more compact and at the same time uh, economical also. At the same time, something which you know the farmers, Indian farmers are able to use. Uh, currently, if you see harvesting uh, is done, uh, is uh, most of it is manual. So uh, you will find the farmers, Indian farmers, using some sticks with a with a kind of a, uh, like a blade on it, and that's how they are you know harvesting fruits and all that. So I feel you know that is uh, to begin with that is the first area I feel that you know where uh, you know robots would play a huge role if you have robots uh, to be able to uh, you know harvest uh, uh, do the harvesting uh, it can uh, first of all it can uh, uh, reduce uh, the amount of labor required for that uh, you don't need uh, skilled labor uh, you can do it once uh, the robot is kind of uh, uh, programmed uh, to uh, you know uh, to identify the food. So currently uh, in our robotics team, uh, there are a lot of areas which are working on. Uh, one is definitely harvesting. So we are trying to see uh, what kind of you know devices we can use to harvest. Uh, we are also looking at areas where you know we can have robots to deweed. Uh, there are uh, other areas where you know automated like in the warehouse and all how to use mobiles uh, with mobile uh, robots uh, to uh, not only pick and place uh, but to like to go from point A to point B. Uh, so uh, I will uh, I will let my team. I have uh, Vijayanti and uh, Chidanush uh, with me. So I will let them speak on uh, in a little bit more in detail about uh, the kind of technologies uh, that using robotics. Uh, you know how uh, we can make an impact in the robotics. Hi everyone, this is Vaijayanti and my partner Shivdanush. Here we are going to present future of robotics in Indian agriculture. Now uh, coming on to Indian agriculture, India is a major player in the uh, world's agriculture sector. Uh, around 58% of Indian population gets its livelihood from agriculture and uh, country 17% of GDP comes from uh, agriculture alone. And uh, India is a major exporter of vegetables, fruits, sugar and also food uh, milk products. In spite of having all of this, why our farmers are suffering? Not, they are not getting proper yield, market value and the quality. Why is that happening? See, around 60% of Indian agriculturists or the farmers are not exposed to modern technology basically. So they are still using primitive uh, techniques, uh, conventional methods in uh, through their uh, agricultural practice. So that is the main reason uh, which is affecting their productivity basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, so however uh, we have robotics and uh, this is the aid for the farmers to overcome all of this whatever you have uh, said. Uh, let's hear of some. Uh, here are some examples uh, of robotic applications in uh, agriculture. Let's take one by one. Uh, around 30 to 40 percent of yield is wasted uh, because pre-harvesting and post-harvesting stages, uh, farmer is not getting that skilled labor to harvest the fruit. So uh, let's uh, to incorporate this into a technology 
just imagine uh, a drones are all around and drones are coming to uh, pluck the fruits from the very high tree which can uh, reduce uh, the uh, labor and uh, which can uh, improve the efficiency which can improve the quality of the yield and the market value of course it will be higher because of uh, it's a very good quality fruit so uh, by this introducing drones and uh, mobile robots in agriculture there are many applications uh, do you want to mention one of them uh, i would like to mention uh, greenhouse farming uh, basically in greenhouse farming what they do is uh, to avoid climatic changes effects of climatic changes on the crop they do greenhouse uh, farming uh, in greenhouse farming if we use uh, sensors and uh, geomapping technology we we can actually aid in um, potting we can aid in uh, seeding fertilizing irrigation and etc and uh, uh, at the same time if we get the data from those sensors we can use it for the future applications also for the future uh, crop also so it can help uh, the data for the farmer uh, in his future uh, crops from long term long term uh, one uh, major issue is uh, bothering the farmer that is a weed that is an unwanted crop which is uh, growing all over the farm which is uh, giving a low quality uh, nutrition to the uh, crop so how to remove so basically it? all the nutrients are taken by the weed yeah uh, it is not uh, led to the crop actual crop which is the yes, yeah. it is kind of a parasite on the land so basically we can uh, remove those uh, weeds now they are using some herbicides and pesticides to uh, do that thing but what is the end result of it our soil is uh, soil quality is degrading and uh, the crop uh, quality of course it is good but uh, not a, it can be a best one and uh, human health is affecting because of that herbicides so uh, let's take all those consideration and uh, let's make introduce one robot in there and robot can using artificial intelligence and image processing a robot can tell okay where uh, uh, the weed is there and where you have to uh, where you your robot should not uh, pluck the crop so uh, so basically you can differentiate between a weed and a the crop. plant yeah plant. yeah that okay. is what uh, we call it as a artificial intelligence now so we are having that kind of uh, robotic technology which can be helpful for the farmer say and uh, this reminds me of another thing uh, a recent visit uh, to a farm I, i actually encountered a parasite which is uh, growing on a tree like yeah. basically the tree is chiku on the tree a parasite plant basically the parasite is a plant that is growing on chiku or tree Uh, if it grows on uh, some point of the branch, the rest of the branch won't give us fruits. So yield that yield. yeah, uh, there is a decrease in yield. So uh, if we detect that parasite in early stages, we can actually take uh, preventive, uh, preventive measures like we can spray herbicides on that. So uh, that herbicide, if it is uh, sprayed precisely on that uh, part only, we can uh, actually bring down the cost. So, uh, first question is like, uh, why farmer has to adapt the modern technology? Uh, anyhow, he is getting yield from the conventional methods. So, basically, it is a question of adaptivity. Right? Let me give you an example. Um, uh, two generations from now, uh, the two generations before, uh, having a tractor was a luxury for them. So, there were very few people who were having tractors, who were owning tractors. uh and the next generation it became a comfort so it is good to have it but they can manage it without uh, having a tractor also so and as of now at this point of time uh, tractor has become a need for each and every farmer so they are not uh, hesitating to invest on a tractor so the same thing applies here uh, 
it's a farmer the farmer uh, if not now the farmer will be forced yeah. will be forced to switch to modern technology so uh, earlier earlier the better yeah because we can't predict the climate changes yeah. uh, and uh, another question was about uh, cost and reach of the technology to the farmer so whenever a new technology comes uh, it takes time to adapt to the farm and the farmer and farmer will think in the perspective of a cost how it has to be i'll give an example for that okay uh, when uh, a farmer is having a huge field and one of the crop is got infected in some point of uh, one field uh, you what farmers do in the uh, conventional agriculture he take a pesticide and fertilizer and he runs the tractor all over the field uh, which will give you the more amount of pesticides going into the soil and the soil degradation will start from that point. Uh, by introducing the robot with some intelligence and uh, some image processing things into it, we can uh, detect early detect the pest and we can detect the infected crop and we can just uh, spray this pesticide and fertilizer to only that crop not to the whole farm it will in turn uh, give you the reduction in pesticides cost i am asking you to uh, re uh, reduce the cost of pesticides and invest into a technology so that it, you can use it in the long run so basically you are uh, saying that it is a one time investment yes it's a one time investment so, Just, just to conclude, uh, um, I feel the question that everybody would be asking is that uh, uh, why would uh, you know farmers, especially Indian farmers, why would they want uh, uh, to adopt technology? Uh, and I feel that uh, if you look at the current scenario, the way uh, worldwide you know the climatic conditions are, a lot of the uh, Indian farmers uh, depend heavily on the uh, the climatic conditions. So the uh, how you harvest, what crop you get how much of produce you get depends entirely on the uh, on, on the climatic conditions so if you see worldwide uh, this issue is there of you know climatic change and so farmers uh, all across uh, the globe are looking at different ways and how they could grow crops and produce uh, without uh, you know being uh, dependent on uh, the climatic conditions uh, going forward you will have to have uh, uh, a scenario you will have a scenario even indian farmers will be forced to look at scenarios where you have to adopt uh, something like vertical farming and the moment you adopt vertical farming it's uh, all about uh, you know technology you will have robots doing the stuff you will have lights controlled you will have the temperature controlled and that is the only way forward the food industry is being revolutionized by robotics and automation automated agriculture is going from strength to strength nursery planting crop seeding crop monitoring fertilizing and irrigation crop weeding and spraying thinning and pruning Autonomous tactics, picking and harvesting, shepherding and herding and milking are some of the avenues robots are being used today for agriculture. It is the future we foresee. It is the future agriculture deserves.